Hello, good morning everyone. Good morning, thanks for joining. Let's give uh, everyone maybe about one more minute and then I'll uh, get the call started. All right. Hello. Good morning. Thanks for joining. Um, I've got a limited time today. I've got another call in about a half an hour. I got to jump on, so I'm gonna dive right in and get into uh, get into this week's topic, which is going to be update on the metaverse where we're at there. But before I get into that, I do want to go over some information on Pure Wallet. We did get some good news from the uh, ISO certification a couple weeks ago. Um, I talked about it on Dr. Crypto show a couple weeks ago, so some of you might know about it, but just in case you didn't hear, we did get an update. Um, it looks like we're going to get our ISO certification. Um, we've got the light at the end of the tunnel, so that is excellent news. Um, during the time that we applied for the ISO certification and up until now going through the process, we'd made, we've made a couple of structural changes to our uh, application and it really has to do with the capability of taking online token to offline and the uh, uh, controlling the cost of that token and making it uh, very affordable. Um, so we've been given some guidelines on a couple of things they want us to uh, to do to get the final ISO certification. So we're doing that. Along with doing that, we're doing the final testing for the release of the uh, of the app. So that's where we're at right now. As soon as we finish the testing, testing is variable. Um, we've been testing it continuously, but we're gonna test it rigorously. And whenever the application's pretty much ready to launch, we're gonna go ahead and get that ISO cert and we'll, uh, we'll announce a launch date. So I don't have the exact date yet. Um, we'll see how the testing goes, but we are getting uh, very close to getting it out to market. So that's excellent news. Um, next, I'm going to jump over to the metaverse, but I do want to let you guys know if you have any questions, please post it. Uh, by 9.30, I'm going to have to be off this call, so I'll speed through this um, as well as I can to leave some time at the end for, uh, for any questions you guys might have. I'm going to share my screen. I've got a short little presentation to, to help me with the uh, talk today, so let me just pull that up. And if you guys can let me know if you can see the um, if you can see the slideshow. All right, I'll keep an eye on the uh, um, on the notes to see if anyone lets me know, but. Uh, with with the metaverse, what we're trying to do is get our pure world set up to where we can bring in retail stores and other businesses into the metaverse. So there's a, there's a lot of things to consider. And one of the major things about the metaverse is obviously the security. So um, we've come up with a, a new system that's going to help us there and it's around intrusion detection system, uh, IDS for short. And let's discuss what it is and why we need it. So it's basically to, to verify activities of any malicious action in our metaverse. 
It generates alerts and detects threats or policy violation. So that's an important aspect. And it's very critical for identifying real-time threats and vulnerabilities. And obviously, I don't think I need to explain why that's important, but uh, unauthorized access is one of the things that we're trying to get around um, real-time monitoring of potential threats. We want to protect sensitive data, obviously. Um, help maintain compliance. Um, that's another you know, big, big feature of the metaverse is compliance with policies and regulations. And just stay on top of measures against uh, emerging security vulnerabilities. So before we started this project and uh, um, we had to do a review of what's what's being utilized currently and where the shortcomings are. And what we found was the framework in the metaverse for IoT face adaptability and, and efficiency issues. So that was one of the things we're trying to resolve. Another one was centralized control caused by bottlenecks and privacy concerns. Um, you know, attackers are always going to try to take advantage of of uh, wherever there's openings. So we saw some issues with uh, uh, with this area. Also, sophisticated cyber attacks due to centralized nature and need for shifts to, to decentralized privacy, preserving ideas for robust services. So I'll get a little bit more um, into that in a, in a following slide. So here's our proposed solution, um, hybrid client selection technique. So this technique ensures an optimal selection of nodes for federated learning, balancing between expertise and resource availability. So the federated learning is important because we do want to work with uh, a lot of different metaverse projects and um, we want to glean the, um, the intelligence we can get from it, but, but some of that data is sensitive and some of that data uh, we don't want it exposed. So this is, a, this is a way for us to get the information out of it without anyone exposing any secure data. So this is an important learning technique and I think uh, it'll be something that'll be appreciated by hopefully a lot of the partners we're working with. Blockchain-based decentralized aggregation. This utilizes blockchain to aggregate detection inside securely from multiple nodes, ensuring data integrity and tamper resistance. And then the next one I think is going to be exciting for people that are invested in uh, MMAI because uh, we want to implement an ERC-20 token-based incentive mechanism. So the MMAI token could be used for this with, uh, with our peer world, but encourages participation and collaboration to the federated IDS uh, by rewarding nodes with tokens for efforts and detection and data sharing. We've always talked about how um, the MMAI token is going to be utilized with the with the different technologies we uh, we create. So the first one is a pure wallet with this cold storage, but here's here's another way we can reward uh, people in the future with our with our metaverse project. And then a lightweight MetaFed uh, net model. This is a federated learning model optimized for metaverse unique requirements, offering efficient real-time detection capabilities without compromising performance. I know that's a lot that's being said there, but it, it's uh, once again, it's a way for us to share data between different metaverse projects and gleam some intelligence uh, out of that. That'll be help, helpful for us to secure, uh, to make a secure, uh, uh, environment and here's how we set up our uh, experiment so the data set selected for relevance to metaverse and simulation of, of a cyber attacks simulation environment replicates metaverse conditions or valid res results federated learning and blockchain 
configurated for optimal security and performance and supports decentralized IDS, enabling effective threat detection and mitigation in metaverse uh, simulation. Here's an image that kind of outlines what we're doing here, but our experimental results, we gleaned three, three major ones from there that I wanted to highlight in this, uh, um, in this slideshow. This, um, this paper is gonna be published shortly and we will put it up on our website and we'll share it with the community. So if any of you wanna dive deeper into it, and go into the details. This is just a uh, highlight level, just to let you know some of the work that we're doing here. But uh, our results are the proposed IDS significantly improved cyber attack detection, high accuracy and efficiency. So as opposed to other systems that are deployed currently, we did find a significant uh, improvement with our, with our system. It outperforms existing IDS in real-time threat detection which I think is, is very important. And the blockchain and federated learning um, enhance security, scalability, and privacy. The fortunate thing for us is we have some experience in the federated learning. So um, this is a way for a lot of different projects and different companies to uh, work together. And uh, I think uh, cooperation between different projects will be important to uh, improve improve security that's already very important in the blockchain space um, and it'll definitely be very important in uh, uh, in the metaverse as well and here's our conclusion and a little bit about future work on where we want to go uh, from here so the novel ideas framework for metaverse Using blockchain and federated learning, uh, it does enhance security. It demonstrates substantial improvement in cyber attack detection, the e efficacy and accuracy. So obviously both of those are very important. Offer scalable, privacy-preserving security solutions for the metaverse. And future work, we want to optimize a framework, integrate more blockchain solutions, and expand to address new cyber threats in complex metaverse environments. So here's here's where we're looking um, at how this is going to affect uh, pure world. In order to bring businesses into the pure world, we need to have a lot of infrastructure that's set up there. And we are looking at retail, um, obviously, because I think it's uh, it's an area that we always focused on. It goes hand in hand with Pure Wallet. Um, Pure Wallet is going to be we're aiming that as a solution towards e-commerce and commerce uh, in general, also point of sales commerce. And the Pure Wallet will have a lot of um, uh, a lot of ties into that of bringing the real time payment solution. You know, I've always said that currently with, with payments using blockchain solution, it's dependent on how long the blockchain takes to process that payment. But as you know, our offline uh, technology can make payments in, in real time instantaneously. So this is an area we're really focused in with, uh, with Pure World. So I think this is gonna be uh, a, a good uh, tie-in. So integrating more blockchain with that is important to us. We are talking, I know you guys have asked before, we are working behind the scenes um, with a fairly large uh, company um, with our partnership with NS Labs and we're working on a, on a metaverse project. Um, so keep your fingers crossed hopefully we'll see what happens over the next 30 60 days but when we get a little bit closer to um to getting that uh uh partnership in place we'll make a we'll make an announcement on that i know i haven't talked too much about the uh about pure world but we are diligently working on it and we will keep moving uh we'll keep moving forward on that all right, so that's the end of my uh, presentation.
I'll be happy to take any questions if anyone has any. I'll keep the call going a little bit longer. I see someone is uh, typing up a comment. All right. The first question is the progress on Pure Chain. So Pure Chain has been developed. Uh, we we're doing internal testing on Pure Chain, and the testing is um, is going well. We've started um, talking to some outside uh, projects to get uh, to get some uh, partnerships and and run uh, uh, to run some tests for them on our uh on our pure chain so we still are in early testing but we are looking for for uh projects to work with us remember pure chain has the uh capability to work not only in crypto space but it also has the capability of working in um in industries it could be smart factories it could be sales it could be logistics um, i have a background in automotive industry so i'm talking to Automotive partners um, that already do business with my other company, and they're exploring ideas on how they can utilize uh, Pure Chain. So Pure Chain is another exciting one for us, and uh, we're looking forward to to building some of these partnerships and uh, making those announcements as we get closer. All right, Wadi's asking about, I uh, missed the first few minutes, uh, update on the wallet. Yeah, so any of you that joined in late uh, a couple of weeks ago, we got we heard back from ISO. Um, we've been given the thumbs up as far as getting the uh, certification. The reason that's important, we always felt confident we were gonna get the certification, but the reason it was important was uh, announcement I made uh, a few months back, and that had to do with the fact that um, we have two parts of the application. One part is the application itself, which is how the structure sits on the phone. The other part is the blockchain part, which has to do with the smart contract, the conversion to the offline token. And what we were looking for was the ISO certification on the application, the security there, the protection of the user's money. And uh, we were going to have a blockchain company at a later date that was going to um, certify our um or at least do a third party review of our smart contract. And that was the question we had with I, if ISO was going to give us that. As it turns out, after going back and forth, we are going to get that. Um, we made some structural change to our to our pure wallet uh, since the time that we um, put it in for the ISO certification. As you guys know, that was several months back. So with those changes, ISO came back, made a request for us to do uh, a couple things to it, get it tested and ready for uh, for development. So we're we're concurrently doing the testing on it. We're using a third party company to help us with testing on it. And uh, soon as soon as it's ready to go to market, we'll we'll go back in to get the ISO cert, which should happen fairly quickly now um, once we're ready and uh, once that's done the market then it'll be released into market I don't have an exact date on it um, it just depends on how the testing goes okay next questions on the uh, MM uh, AI website update um, I'm not too sure if this is specific to just a, a general update on the website or if it's about the um, uh, the properties for, for the metaverse. Um, I apologize, we were supposed to get the property stuff up there on the website, 
but the Metaverse team has been um, pretty tied up with this project that we're working on. We're doing some reviews, doing some presentation. So the uh, the update we were supposed to put on the website is still, we're still waiting on it, but it should happen uh, shortly. All right, guys, I don't know if there's any more questions. I'll give it about one more minute. If there is, please ask away. If not, we'll uh, we'll end this, and then um, I'll probably do the next uh, AMA. Um, it won't be next week, but it'll be the week after that. Um, we'll do it on uh, on uh, Twitter with uh, Dr. Crypto. But I do appreciate everyone joining us. I know Twiz is recording this, and he'll get it shared up there. He'll put notes in here as well as on Telegram. Um, thanks a lot, everyone. I appreciate your time, and we'll talk to you soon.